Hello and welcome to the next tutorial on AutoCAD 2010. This is Aditya. The next option that we are going to see in draw toolbar is an arc. Now we require arc many times and to draw arc there are different options available. Now for example suppose I have three points and if, and if I want to draw an arc passing from those three points so I can draw an arc passing from three points. Now how to draw? Just see the options. If I click on these three points, you will notice here that it is asking me for a start point of arc. So this is the first start point. Then it is asking me for second point. Now next is the second point. And then it is asking me for an end point. So if I click on end point, it will take an arc. Now as explained earlier, you can have point by two methods. The first one is by clicking a point that is if I click a point it will take the point or the other method that you have is by entering the coordinates now the second method of drawing an arc the second method of drawing an arc is start center end now for example if I click on this it will ask me first to specify the start point of an arc so you have to specify the start point of an arc then second point of an arc, so I will click the second point of an arc and then third it is asking me to specify end point of an arc. So again I have specified three points but this time it was start, center and end. So example you can see here on screen if you hold the mouse pointer on a particular option a help window will pop up explaining the use of particular tool. Now it is showing here the first, second and third point how they have entered. Now the next option that you have is start center angle, start center length, start end angle, start end direction. You can use any of the method based on the data that you have. Now the next option in a draw toolbar is polyline. Now the polyline is a continuous line. I go on clicking line and if I draw and now I'm just clicking mouse points and then if I press enter these are the line segments but you can notice here if I select this geometry the entire geometrical entity up to start to end will get selected that is not the case with our regular line if I take the line command and if I draw the same type of geometry by clicking some points, the same geometry even if it's created will not be a single entity. So polyline is a continuous geometrical entity. If I click it, it is a separate segment and in case of polyline, it is a complete single geometry. So next option, if I want to delete it, there is an option available in modify toolbar that is erase but the general method that you can use is by selecting the entity by using a selection window now there are two types of selection windows if I create a selection window from left upper corner I have clicked left mouse button and I have created a window from left upper corner to right bottom corner and if I release it you can observe here when I created a window it was covering three arcs or uh, rather three geometrical entities the two which are right now selected and third one is an arc but arc has not got selected only these two entities have been selected I am going to press escape so it will deselect now if I create a window from right bottom corner to left upper corner and if I release it you can observe all entities have been selected. So these two types of selection windows you can use if the selection window is drawn from left upper corner to right bottom then in that case only those entities which are completely inside the window for example in this case now this is covering all three entities but you can observe the arc is not completely inside this blue window. So if I release it, only two entities are being selected. 
if I press escape, then these two entities will get deselected. But if I draw a window from the right bottom corner to the left corner, then even if there is a small segment of any entity inside this green window, all the entities will get selected. So you can use your selection filter for this, these two windows, and you can make your drawing easy. So if I press delete now, so these entities will get deleted. The next option that we are going to see is a circle. Now there are different methods to draw the circle. Depending upon the input that you have, you can draw a circle using these options. That is the center radius, center diameter, two points, three points, tan, tan radius, and tan, tan, tan. Here the tan means tan. Now example we will see. The first one, center radius. If I click on this center radius, you can observe here in command prompt, it is, it is asking me for a center point of the circle. So how you can give a center point is either you can enter coordinate or you can simply click with your mouse left button and then you have to enter the radius. So if I enter radius equal to 20, it will create a circle with radius 20. The next option that we have is center diameter. It is very simple. Just click on this option. If I now select the center, then it is asking me for a diameter. So if I enter diameter equal to 80, it will create the circle with diameter. The next option that we have is two point. In two point method, if suppose you have two points, I have explained in this help window. If you have two points, and if I click on two points, it will create a circle passing through those two points. Now, for example, I will create a line which is having two end points, and if I select the, this option, that is a two point option, and now I am going, it is asking me for uh, a point, specify center point for circle. So even if it is asking for center point, I will click here. It is a second point that I am clicking. It has created a circle with two points. The next option that we have is three point. So if you want to draw a circle passing through three points that you have, you can simply click three points. It will create a circle passing through all these three points. The next option that we have is tan tan radius. Now what is mean by tan tan radius? Suppose if I, uh, if I have a geometry like this, like this. And now if I want to create a circle which is tangent to this line as well as tangent to this line, I can use tan tan radius function. So I am going to click on tan tan radius. Now it is asking me for selecting a first object to which the circle should be tangent. So I click this first line click the second line. The option that we are using is tan tan radius. So two tan points that we have clicked, now we have to enter the radius. So if I enter the radius to equal to 65, if I press enter, it will create circle which is tangent to these two lines and the radius that we have entered. The next option that we have is tan tan tan. Now this is very simple. By name also you can understand that if I have a geometrical entity where I want to create a circle which is tangent to say three entities. So I will select this tan 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 option. Now I'm going to click on three points and these three points it will take and it will create a circle which will be tangent to all these three points. So this is a circle option. Almost I have explained all possible options in circle. The next one that we have is a rectangle. Let me first delete all these entities. The next thing is drawing a rectangle. All of you know rectangle has two dimensions. The first one is a length and width. And how we can draw this is by clicking this option. It will ask me for specifying the first corner point for a rectangle. Again, the same method, you can either click or you can enter the coordinates of a point. I am going to click with my mouse left button and then I am going to drag the mouse. So, it is asking me for two dimensions. You can observe here, specify the other corner point or it is asking me for the dimensions. I can enter the dimensions in 150. I 
need to press tab button and then I will enter code 100 and then I am going to press enter so it will create a rectangle with the given dimensions that is 150 and 100 it has created a rectangle so that's all in this tutorial this is enough in next tutorial we will see the remaining options by that time stay tuned for coming videos